what is up you guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see after the title it's another one of my favorite christian girl chats it's been a minute so i'll just let's just get right into it and yeah you know i mean generally i would quote a scripture but i don't want to quote a scripture right now because i mean we generally do know all the scriptures i'll be talking about and i want to generalize this into more than just Christian girls but even those who are not yet on a Christian path but perhaps would like to go on a Christian path you know what I mean and this is not just for girls this is for everyone who is a human being and has a purpose and a calling that has been bestowed upon them by Christ and has been given to them by Christ so let me just nope I can't see you guys I'm so sorry so you know what, like, I, 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 I've been sitting a lot with this whole calling and a purpose situation. And, I mean, I call it like a situation because, I don't know, it's still a very tricky part for me personally. But I am learning to live in my purpose and live in my calling, etc, etc. Um, I'm not going to say I have, like, a certain kind of major calling but a calling is a calling nonetheless a calling is important nonetheless and yeah so i just want to speak upon how we need to be so open and be knowledgeable that god does make provision for your calling god he he set your your purpose from a very young age from the day he actually formed you in your in your mother's womb and even prior to it you know what i mean i mean he does say in his word i knew you before i even formed you in your mother's womb so i mean it's not like we're gonna suddenly be completely new and like oblivious to that there is a calling in our life you know what i mean each person has been given gifts and, and each person has been given callings and a, a, a purpose, you know what I mean? And I say callings because I don't believe that a person is merely just called to do one thing, you know what I mean? For example, you may be called to be a worshipper, but now in being a worshipper, um, there, there's a depth to you. There, there is more to you than just being a worshipper, of which being, being a worshipper is a wonderful calling like in itself. But if you notice how you can't just be a worshiper at your own church you know what i mean take it to the internet travel with it and travel with your your pastor and make it a lifestyle make it worthwhile and while you're being a worshiper your own lifestyle is a calling to lead by example is definitely a calling to my um, um, um my understanding and um you need to ensure that in every single thing that you are doing you are glorifying god because essentially that's what a calling is it is a purpose it is a mission to glorify god and to make jesus famous again you know what i mean and don't even be scared that oh but like will there be provision for me yes there will okay god never gives you something that is too heavy for you he will never burden you with something that he is fully aware that you cannot possibly um do etc but he definitely will make provisions for you he definitely will set out a certain path for you you know what i mean but did he say that this path is going to be perfect like it's going to be smooth it's going to be a water ride no he didn't okay um he would not have told us to 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 bear his cross with him yet it was like walking through the garden of eden you know what i mean it's not like that you know and even then there were trials there were tribulations for eve and for adam you know what i mean you can't expect your calling to just fall into your lap you need to pray for it you need to fast you need to seek god you need to ask for guidance from your spiritual leaders you need to guide you know, ask for that guidance from your mentor you know what i mean preferably get a mentor that does subscribe to the same religion as you because then like in that manner 
it's easier and it's more it's a safer space for you to truly be yourself and to truly explore every single piece and every single detail of that calling because you know what sometimes you will find that you are like one of like you like gifts or it could just be God just speaking to you and and and, and he's compelling you to uh, step into that calling and it could be through dreams it could be through happenings it could be through absolutely anything you know what I mean because have you ever notice how you will think that something is your own thoughts you know what I mean but then you're like no man it can't be because I wasn't thinking of this like this is not something I would normally think about or you perhaps have a dream and we all know how like sometimes certain dreams are happening because of something that has been sitting in your um, subconscious mind and you weren't actively like thinking about it and then you know it just appears again like in a dream or maybe like it's something that like you have been thinking about but now it happens that when God is speaking to you through a dream much like he did with what was it oh I forgot his name was it Samuel I think it was Samuel whereby God called him three times and every single time he went over to his leader and he said the third time when he calls you uh, you 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 hear him calling your your name you must say here I am Lord you know what I mean speak to me so therefore we need to get to that point in our dreams where we are saying here I am Lord speak to me use me I am your vessel you know what I mean so we, we definitely don't be scared to step into your your calling don't be scared to step into your purpose I promise you because there are so many people that are waiting to hear from you and there's nothing, nothing that I fear than getting to heaven and not hearing the words well done my good and faithful servant you know what I mean much like the parable of the three men who were given three, 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 three talents. You know, one was just given four, I mean two, the other was given four or five, if I'm not mistaken, and the other was given ten. Now the one, the, the two that were given the most, they doubled those um, talents and those, and like they, they like made investments and they, they, they groomed it. Now the one who had the least, he said, my lord, I hid your your giftings and um so that they may not be damaged or stolen etc and if you notice that he was shunned you know what i mean because god didn't give us talents for us to hide because we are scared that they are going to get damaged he gave us these talents to share with people to multiply them and multiplying something you could be breaking from the same slice of bread but guess what, you're encountering more people than rather than you harboring just that one slice of bread, like, do you understand, like, um, what I'm saying, so, we need to not be scared, you know what I mean, for example, when, um, the Israelites were, were, were walking through the, the desert after they had, a, um, they had escaped the land of the Pharisees, if I'm not, not mistaken, no, Pharaoh's land, rather, not the Pharisees, um, when they had escaped the land of Pharaoh, and, um, they were walking in the wilderness for 40 years being led by by Moses and notice how for 40 years they needed nothing they 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 lacked nothing you know what I mean as long as they kept their eye to the beholder and they listened to the instructions given by Moses through I mean, I mean by Jesus through Moses it's easier and 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 and, and they, they then survived, you know what I mean? If they needed water, they would let that request be known unto Moses and Moses would go and, 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 and lay before the king and he would make that request on their behalf. Hence, in the book of, I think it's Second Chronicles 20. Okay, sorry about that, my battery died. So um, as I was saying, if we notice how in the, in the book of Chronicles, um, God does tell us that if we honor his prophets you know what i mean and we 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 pray unto him you know i i i, I just can't remember the exact um structure and like that sentence but i will type it out down here um 
we need to show um, 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 that honor to his prophets in order for him to actually hear us and in, in order for him to use them you know what I mean because even if it 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 somehow doesn't like directly like impact your leader but you do need your leader for the spiritual guidance and all of that you know um so yeah definitely i would say i think it's time you we actually stepped into our purpose stepped into our calling you know i've just been so compelled to like share this because um i've also been on my own journey and it's 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 uncomfortable it's got its ups and its downs and there are days that are glorious and you're like yes jesus this was definitely you and there are days you're like what just happened do you know what i mean but all of that is god all of that is is part of the journey and don't confuse strife as it not being the will of god because certain things you will be tried you you will be tested all of those things you should definitely expect as a child of god and you should know that it will happen and if it hasn't happened it's still coming you know what i mean i'm sorry but christianity and all faith in general and everything that is worth keeping is never going to be a walk down the road or like you know stroll in a park it's not if someone i'm sorry if someone has ever told you that i'm sorry it's not gonna go th that way um but i promise you nonetheless it is a rewarding journey it is a fulfilling one there's nothing as great as hearing feedback as, and, and, and someone says, you know what, there was something that you had said. And perhaps you weren't even trying to say something profound or, I don't know, do anything amazing. But perhaps you were just speaking from the genuineness of your heart. And that is usually what has been um, bestowed upon you by Christ. That is something that has been laid on your heart by Christ. At times, we may speak in a prophetic manner whereby you don't even realize but that was God speaking through you that was God leading you at that moment into something that could provide healing that that could provide an answer something anything that someone perhaps may have needed you know what I mean so don't get tired um the Israelites a lot of them started to to complain and we all know how that ended for some of them. But if you notice how those who kept on the road and who kept on with Moses and they focused upon what the God, um, 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 what the Lord had then promised them, they walked through the land of um, uh, milk and honey and it was a glorious moment, you know what I mean? And once you are there in your purpose, remember to always thank God. Remember to always Give the glory straight back unto him because the glory is not for us, but it's all for him. You know what I mean? We are just here as his servants and I've never been more excited than to be a servant who sits right there with the king. You know what I mean? So it's definitely something you, 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 and we all should start to step in, um, um, into it is your truth, it is your calling. Your calling, guys, could be to be a mother, to be a worshiper for thousands, if not millions, you know what I mean? For example, we all know Stephanie from uh, Bethel Music. That's her, 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 her calling, you know what I mean? And sometimes your calling in a place may just be seasonal and don't be scared. Pray about it, you know what I mean? Seek God, ask for that, um, help from God. He's there. He's a God who's always there. He doesn't leave. And he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I slumber not nor sleep. You know what I mean? So definitely step into your calling. I don't want to make this too too long and too preachy. But um you you have a calling, you have a purpose. And that purpose and that calling comes with a timeline. 
make sure you don't run out of time um, before you've manifested or you let God manifest through you, you know. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope there was spiritual upliftment. I hope you've learned something, you've gained something. And I just want to pray for you and just say, you know what? Uh, may the God of David, Jacob, Isaac, Solomon, and, you know, um, may he be with you even now. You know, he will guide you. He will take you through every single step. And you'll grow in him and we will grow together and we will learn together. And it's going to be a beautiful part. Until the next video, nothing but love and light and the love of God from my heart to yours. Good night. Well, goodbye.